2006 Dutchman 29Q just rolled in here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a no slide rear quad bunk house. A very rare find actually. It's extremely uncommon to find a quad bunk without a super slide on it, or at least a slide of some variety. Good size awning on this, about an 18 foot awning. And uh, all in all, the entire trailer looks to just be in really good shape. Um, in case you're wondering if you spot them in pictures or video, you might see little things like tabs or some Velcro spots here and there. Um, the Velcro spots over the tires were designed as a, like a sun cover to keep the sun from rotting the tires. So you know that these tires are in good shape. And aluminum wheels never hurt. Everyone knows that shiny makes it go faster. Um, tires look about brand new. And uh, the uh, covers, or the, pardon me, the little tabs that you're seeing here is that it looks like maybe some sort of attachment for a screen room. So these folks are really big about keeping this thing protected from the elements. And, uh, I mean, all in all, they really kept good care of it on the inside and out. It's not a rule, it's just a guide. But something I like to look for is the owner's manuals. Um, it's been my experience that people who do not take great care of their trailers do not keep track of their owner's manuals. The two just kind of seem to go hand in hand. Again, it's a guide, not a rule, but... It's little things like that that you learn to look for over the years and uh, you know those are the, uh, the best estimations you can get towards the previous wear and tear and use of this. But you know look at your, your sofa here is one of your big high wear and tear areas. I mean it still looks brand new. The fabric and everything still looks good. You can see it's not all worn down. You can still see my finger tracks run through it there. Um, you know even the, uh, the dinette cushions everything looks to be in really good shape. The bunks aren't worn out, the bed's not wore out, can't see any uh, leaks anywhere. Um, something I always look for, the metal blinds around your dinette, you know where your kids are sitting all the time, those are almost always been up in a bunkhouse, and these are not. So uh, I don't know the exact details, but it's possible that this was like, you know, grandpa and grandma's trailer and the grandkids would come now and then, not exactly sure. I just know that they upgraded to something a little bit larger. Um, pretty nice bathroom space in here as well. Very standard bathroom setup for a travel trailer, but effective. Um, the uh, bathroom has a little bit of a seat right there. Uh, that's uh, one of the reasons for that is that's right where the wheel well would be located, so it does need that extra room. You see you have both a skylight and a power vent fan in here. It's going to get you more light in the bathroom space. Extra countertop space here for blow dryers and shavers and all those things. Um, some people get kind of nervous when they see that the shower hose is laying in the floor. That's not a bad thing. Um, it's uh, a winterization um, prevention method. It's just, you know, six less foot of hose, basically, that has a chance to freeze up in the wintertime. Um, like I said, rear quad bunks back here with a, uh, a central um, wardrobe and entertainment center. With the step down here, the uh, kids kind of have an easy way to hop up and down. And these bunks are pretty well built. They are 300-pound um, rated, which is double industry standard it is actually pretty shocking how little most bunks do hold um starting from the back and working forward on the trailer here uh you know nothing too fancy but a simple effective living room what i do like about it is there's not a lot of space dedicated for a television so this is a very family focused floor plan the whole idea is that you're going to go out with people that you enjoy being around and build some fun memories and have a good time uh, so give us a call, 800-256-5196, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Happy camping.